and she said, um, the chemotherapy failed and you have six months to live, you need to make plans. And this therapy changed a death warrant for an individual into life. CAR T cells harness the power of the immune system to fight the cancer. We're about to open up a whole world of therapies that are going to cure hundreds and thousands of diseases. We can take this cell and really demonstrate a change in people's lives. The whole thing has been worth it. <laughs> Where we are right now is like we were during the Industrial Revolution at the turn of the last century. In the next 30 years, we are going to so dramatically change the way we treat people the way we look at disease, the way we understand disease, and I think everyone's getting excited about that. The inflection point for the field was a few years ago when for the first time a drug was approved that was based on a T cell that would be able to deliver a therapy to eliminate cancer. And this therapy, which eliminates certain leukemias, blood cancers, changed death warrant for an individual into life. I was diagnosed on my 56th birthday with large B cell diffused lymphoma, and it had spread to 32 different places by the time I was diagnosed. The treatment initially was about four hours of chemotherapy and then go home and then recover for three weeks and then come back, and I did that for four months. Obviously, that didn't work for me. That was a pretty interesting day because I went to the doctor's appointment by myself. You know, every time she came in, she was always laughing and smiling. And when she walked in the door with that PET scan, she couldn't look at me. So I said, okay, I can tell by the look on your face that this is just not good news. And she said, um, the chemotherapy failed and you have six months to live, you need to make plans. I went home that day and pulled my son out of work. And I and I said, you need to come home right now. And I, and I told him, I'm, I, Ricky, I'm not going to make it. I'm going to die. And the thought of leaving him alone at, at 21, you know, when he was just beginning to start his life, um, you know, I felt like a failure as a parent. Kite Pharmaceutical was conducting a clinical trial with CAR T cell immune therapy. That Monday morning, I went straight to UCLA. They actually took my blood out of my body, ran it through a machine. They took the T cells out of my blood, genetically engineered them in a laboratory to recognize the CD19 protein on the cancer cell, and they grew them by the billions. Then they brought them into the hospital in dry ice, thawed them out, and they infused these supercharged CAR T cells into my body. In mid-2011, we had the first person cured with a CAR T therapy that broke open the entire field of cell therapies and has generated hundreds of billions of dollars of enterprise value, but has also basically garnered a completely new wave of biotechs and investor interest in the space. And then at 8VC, we kind of invest across the spectrum of all the bioeconomy, from academic research all the way through commercialization of novel therapies and even distribution of, of um, care. The field of cancer has evolved with the ability to tap into those T cells that go out and destroy and now target them to cancers, to kill cancers. But what we're doing is we're isolating and working with the cells that are designed to go out there and protect so that they will protect from these damaging T cells in settings like autoimmune disease, in neuroinflammatory diseases and the like. And there's a whole world of being able to model diseases in a way that can be understood to create new therapies.
Synthago was specifically made in order to ultimately help cell therapies become accessible. Effectively, what we're doing is creating the OS, the operating system around CRISPR, so that any researcher can make use of it to turn it into a therapy. You can't just make technology do what's possible. You have to make it do what's good for people. We think we'll even get to the point that we'll be able to develop a um, what we call universal cell therapy, where we can genetically modify the cells so I can put cells from you into me and my body won't reject those cells. And once you can do that, instead of making a thousand products each for one person, we now can make one product to treat a thousand people that's gonna change the economics of the whole field. We're about to open up a whole world of therapies that are going to cure hundreds and thousands of diseases. And it's gonna be a paradigm shift in terms of how they're made, how they're distributed, how they're discovered. The whole thing's changing. There's something so exciting about setting high goals, tackling unbelievably hard problems, and knowing that they're positively affecting people. I didn't come in and start Sonoma to make a billion dollars. I came in because I had been working on this science for 20 years. And in my world, you know, the focus on the patient, the focus on getting medicines out there that'll make a difference, it's being able to develop therapies that are not required lifelong. You take a drug, it changes the course of that disease, and you're not continually having to take the same drug or other drugs over and over again. For me, that's my pie in the sky, that we can create cures, not chronic therapies. This is how I go through life. You know, I, pre I prepare for the worst and hope for the best. Every experience, even though it could, it's a bad experience, something good could possibly come from it. I think that I'm here for a reason. My life has purpose and I made it. You don't know how strong you are until strong is the only choice that you have. To hear that somebody who was supposed to be dead was alive because of, you know, what we were able to do. I don't know how you could be more motivated to do your job than hear those kinds of things. It started out as therapies to treat cancer. Our company is now trying to treat everything from autoimmune diseases to brain diseases, but that's just one cell type. Now cell therapy also becomes a regenerative medicine where we can grow new tissues, we can grow new neurons. We're barely starting to understand what's possible. It's gonna be off the charts.